Just like the rest of the state, the number of COVID-19 cases is on the rise in Silverbow County. MTN's John Amy with a live report for us from our Butte studio with more on that story. John. Butte's Health Department announced this morning two new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Butte Silverbow. Now this is in addition to two recent cases that were announced here in the county last week. The Butte Health Department has reported four new cases of COVID-19 over the past two weeks in Butte Silverbow County. We have to recognize that the virus is alive and well in our community. This week, a man in his 50s and one in his 60s has been confirmed with COVID-19. Last week, a man and woman, both in their 20s, tested positive for the virus. Prior to that, Butte had 11 cases which are no longer active. The current patients are working well with the health department. Really highly cooperative people doing what they're asked to, to do, providing us with their contacts so that we can limit uh, the spread of disease and they're staying home. Health officials have already canceled most summer events that draw large crowds and they anticipate the threat from the virus may continue into the fall. We're planning for a COVID and dealing with influenza at the same time. And so our planning assumptions are, are pretty serious. Butte's health department director said she did not support the city's decision to host the annual 3rd of July firework display. But since the event is going to happen, social distancing is more important than ever and wear a mask. I am very worried about the fireworks. The congregation of groups of people on the west side of Butte is very concerning. And so we're asking people to be very cautious July 3rd. The virus is in our community. Now, despite these new cases, Butte is still planning to host its fireworks display this Friday at sundown at Big Butte. Reporting live in Butte, John Amy, back to you. Thank you very much, John.